Sometimes it was being so hopelessly depressed that I wanted to die. Going out into this unknown blackness, just there was something about it that just sort of drew me to it. So my name is Imogen, I'm 21 and I've struggled with anorexia, uh, bulimia, depression, anxiety. I think it all sort of mostly started when I was 12, just after my mum's brother had killed himself. So she was in quite a bad place. For everyone it just started to go downhill from there. I started to uh, sort of engage in disordered eating behaviours. I became quite depressed and uh, my mum was quite abusive so I think it all kind of was a bit of a catalyst for me at that stage. Um, my parents caught on to what was happening, took me to a doctor and it was anorexia nervosa and from there I saw heaps and heaps of different psychologists and doctors. Some sort of helped, but at that stage it really, I wasn't interested in sort of getting better. One thing that was particularly a huge thing that now I absolutely hate is the pro Anna and pro Mia websites. For me, that's where I learned the behaviours that I ended up using. I took it so much further once I discovered these kinds of things. They'd post things like they were having a terrible day, they were really hungry, they just wanted to eat. And they were just asking for people to motivate them to not eat. So the rest of the comments would just be people telling them how amazing they are for not eating and how much strength there is in fighting the urge to eat. Even at the time, I thought it was disgusting, but I loved it. Like my stomach, my arms, there was just something about them that I just hone in on them, I guess. And yeah, I just see these huge fleshy, things there. So when I would be having a hard time, I'd just go there and I'd read it and it would give me more motivation to continue starving myself. Which is a crazy thing because looking back at photos and things now, I realise I was really little. It was sort of an anger and just a real deep self-hatred that just it was almost a self-harming sort of a thing. I just hated myself so much. I just wanted to, I guess, hurt my body as much as I could. And now I look back at it and I just can't believe I bought into it. Even though I knew it was disgusting, I still supported it just by engaging with it. It makes me angry to think that these sites even exist because the damage that they do to people is beyond anything. When I was 15, I tried to take my own life. I was just so, I felt so hopeless and helpless. The very thought of living at all was just too much. I took my bike and I rode out to a beach and I dumped my bike in some bushes and I planned to just go out into the ocean and just, just keep going sort of make this decision to, I guess, end it. It was a really weird sense of relief and panic 
at the same time. I'm excited to just be free from everything. It got to a stage where I did just come back in. I started thinking about one of my good friends and I considered what it would do to her if I had just gone out and not come back. So I think that was sort of the turning point, I guess, for that little moment to bring me back. And when I got home, uh, my family hadn't even noticed that I'd been gone. I'd just been through sort of this huge thing. I had planned to be dead at that stage and I was back and no one had noticed. So I actually regretted at that stage that I had come back. It's definitely something that doesn't just stop just mental illness in general. I think it's something that's going to affect me my whole life. It is really important that there is support for me for the rest of my life. Obviously, I'm hoping I'm not going to need a huge level, but I'm going to sort of stay where I am now because I am in a good place. I had some close friends that really were just as big of a help to me as my family were. They've just been such a motivation to stay healthy and to continue recovery. It is so important that adults don't sort of just get ignored and that people don't just give up hope on them because it is possible with the right support and with people that genuinely care that you know, any adult with a mental illness can have a normal life. So at the moment I'm in my third year studying to be a teacher and I've just changed my course to be primary and specialising in special needs education. My sort of ideal job, what I'm aiming for is to work in a hospital school which is basically just for kids that have to have long stays at hospital, they have a schooling program so they can continue to go. Being there in hospital, you need someone who understands. It's just a very different structure and atmosphere and mindset. I really think I'd be able to grasp that and teach really well. There's something really beautiful and calming about the ocean. And thinking about the first time that I had planned to kill myself, the way in which I did it, wanting to go out into the ocean, going to the ocean now when I'm feeling that way is almost quite a strength thing. I was in that place and I was going to do that here in the ocean, but I turned that around and I came through that. I can do it again. In hindsight, I'm really happy that I got through everything that I did. I think anybody that is having a hard time or in a bad situation that they just don't think they can come out of needs to know that it is possible. And that's exactly what I think every time I have a moment now. I think I have come out of it numerous times before. I can do it again and anyone can really. So just Hold on, things get better.